Yes. Now discuss about the wall of thorax part 6. In this part, we will discuss about the vein. This is intercostal vein. We have seen this is nerve, this is artery, and this is intercostal vein. In this diagram, you have seen this is thoracic aorta, and these are the branches of the thoracic aorta. For each space, there is a gigas vein. A gigas means unpaired, unpaired vein. This is a gigas, a gigas vein. It accompanies its branch, accompanying the artery, like this. And here it receives tributaries along the artery. Here it has one collateral tributary like this. This is cutaneous tributary. Here is internal thoracic vein. This is internal thoracic vein. There may be two vena cavitants of the internal thoracic artery in the lower part and the upper part both join to form single turn. So this is internal thoracic vein. So each, each space has two anterior intercostal vein. So here is posterior intercostal vein. This is anterior intercostal vein. Posterior intercostal vein on the right side. It may drain into the agilis vein mostly and on the left side it drains into heavy agilis and accessory heavy agilis and also in the brachiocephalic vein. So we will discuss about the posterior intercostal vein first of all. This is agigus vein, this is hemi agigus vein. On the left side, this is hemi or accessory hemi agigus vein. So, in this diagram, this is right and this is left brachiocephalic vein. This is right and this is left brachiocephalic vein. This is superior vena cava superior vena cava, this is inferior vena cava, this is left renal vein, this is right renal vein, this is left renal vein, there is a right renal vein, one vein opens here into the inferior vena cava, this vein is Lumbar agigus. This is lumbar agigus, and one vein. This is right and left common iliac vein, and here is ascending lumbar vein. So this is ascending lumbar vein. This vein is ascending lumbar vein. And this vein is lumbar agigus. This is lumbar agigus. This is ascending lumbar. And here is another vein that is subcostal vein. This is sub another vein is subcostal vein. So all three veins joins form the agigus vein. This is agigus vein which opens into superior vena cava. So this is agigus vein which opens into superior vena cava. And this agigus vein is formed by three veins. This is ascending lumbar, lumbar agigus and subcostal vein. Here first space vein that is first posterior intercostal vein drains into on right side it drains into first drains into 
right brachiocephalic pain. On left side, first drains into left brachiocephalic pain. On the right side, second, third, fourth, second, third, fourth joins with each other and form the superior intercostal vein. It drains into the agilis vein. On left side, second, third and fourth join to form superior intercostal and drains into left brachiocephalic vein. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, posterior intercostal vein drains into agilis vein on right side. And on left side, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, these veins drains into accessory hemiagis vein. This is accessory hemiagis vein, which ultimately drains into agilis vein on right side. So this is accessory hemi agilis vein. Here is 9th, 10th and 11th posterior intercostal vein. And here on left side, this is left ascending lumbar. Here is lumbar agilis. On left side, lumbar agilis is tributary of left renal vein. This is lumbar agilis and here is subcostal on left side. These three joints to form these three joints to form this is hemiagis which receives ninth, tenth and eleventh posterior intercostal vein and which ultimately drains into agilis vein. So in this diagram, this this is fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, sixth, seventh, eighth. This is accessory hemiagis. This is accessory hemiagis, which drains fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and this is hemiagis, which drains ninth, tenth, and eleventh. And are both these ultimately drains into the agis vein. And agis vein drains into the superior vein. Like above. This, the, this venous system is important in case of the obstruction of the vein. If superior vena cava is obstructed, then blood from upper extremity and head neck passes here. From here, it passes through agis vein into the inferior vena cava. Then through inferior vena cava it reaches the heart. In case of obstruction of the inferior vena cava, another condition, the blood from here it reaches through this agis vein into the superior vena cava, then into the right atrium. So in case of obstruction, this channel provides alternative pathway for blood circulation. So this is venous system. This is posterior inter these are posterior intercostal veins which drains into the agis vein, hemi agis vein, accessory hemi agis vein, and right and left brachiocephalic veins. Thank you.